Hello there, I'm another Magento dev and in this video we're going to continue with our theme development. So we're going to look at the header and the footer. Now I've talked about how a Magento developer would make a decision on whether to use the theme or whether to use a module. The examples I'm going to show you are a good demonstration of this. I'm going to use some modules to achieve some parts and I'm going to use some uh, theme functions to, or theme files to achieve some parts and I'm going to explain my, my choices as we go. Okay, let's uh, let's jump in. Hello, welcome back. Right, so we're going to make some uh, we're going to make some customizations to the uh, Luma theme that I've got here with some uh, with some dummy data in. Uh, in the last tutorial, I went through um, installing. SCSS uh, framework and now we're going to actually start making some customization so uh, one of the things I want to cover in this is sort of when to use a theme uh, when to use the theme and when to use a module so we're gonna we're gonna look at a couple of different approaches now these are pre-built modules that I've built for other projects uh, I'm gonna bring them into this project rather than sort of typing everything out now just to sort of save time uh, but I will explain in detail where, where necessary so what we're going to do is we'll we'll start with the header again so um, I've already covered the header moving header blocks around in another tutorial but I'm going to quickly sort of go over it again now uh, in by way of copying in even some um, default header blocks um, and, and basically a, a template and some default header blocks so let's just make a start so new file I've been through this before but it is a default XML that you need and then in the default XML I often start with this type of boilerplate so that essentially will remove these unwanted um, blocks now I have included nav sections in this that's because one of the modules that I am going to put in and one of the things I'm going to cover in this tutorial with the um, editing the header is the menu and I'm going to put in a some people call it a mega menu if you like basically a menu that opens differently to to this type of drop down menu so it's gonna it's gonna look a little bit it's gonna look a little bit better so uh, once I've saved that I believe I've got the cache switched off we'll just have a quick menu's gone so we can see that you know we've, we've put this in the right place and it's working and um, I am going to race through this this bit but let's um, start so we'll go over a few uh, over a few salient points so always ref reference the header container um, if my uh, little extension would play ball so always reference the header extension uh, the reference the header container because if you don't, then you'll get issues with um, the mini cart, for example. Probably other little, probably other areas as well. So I'm just going to whack this framework in here, which is one that I use for another project. Which it's similar to the one that I touched on in in my last video, I think, where uh, in the last video about moving headers around. If you've seen that one, uh, it it's, it moves the header so we've got the logo in the middle essentially, and the search to the uh, left hand side and the account icons and stuff over over to the right hand side there's a few things to note about this now we've moved the search to we're moving it to below the navigation and we're adding in a toggle so it's going to toggle you're going to click on a search icon and it's going to toggle the the open and, and close I'll, I'll sort of go through this on the front end once it's all in place and um, we're adding in a mobile nav toggle because another thing that I'm doing is replacing the um, standard Luma slide out nav uh, with something a little bit more custom um, and then we've got like the, the header box here so these these flex commands here are relating to my um, CSS framework so that's another thing that I need to just uh, fire off and um, copy a relative path to and I'll do gulp watch now that's watching for changes now and I'll just as well um, inspect here and I'll also ooh, 
switch on my uh, my live reload as well so we'll benefit from that during this tutorial right then so over here we've got the header right <coughs> with text over to the right and we've got a, a, again a custom account link so we've put in a custom account link as well uh, just to help with styling and iconography that we're, we're using and not to forget the the move commands that I'm going to need for this all to sort of work and I'm moving the logo into the middle I'm moving the search as I said over to the, the search over to after the page the nav sections so into page top basically um, that's the actual search field and uh, not the icon the icon is going to be over on the um, left hand side as I mentioned we're moving the mini cart over to uh, the mini cart container which is in the if you can see here mini cart container which is over in the sort of right hand part of the the menu and we're moving the wishlist link uh, over there as well um, over to the header account block which is next to the the menu here and um, what I will do is import uh, the rest of the template now I'm just going to copy over the rest of the template okay so in there now we've got the templates that all correspond to the uh, layout XML here uh, one thing I'll just mention the logo now this this is the logo template from the Magento uh, hyphen the, the module hyphen th hyphen theme folder um, but we've just made some edits to it uh, to be able to show a static um, SVG or static asset rather than relying on the um, just for to show you a different way of doing things uh, rather than relying on the um, default uh, functionality which is that it, you have to add a logo in theme config uh, I've, I've replaced it so we can show and, and then uploading SVGs is problematic in the back end of Magento admin so it means that we can use an SVG um, on, from the project that I've imported it across from we're using an SVG uh, however in this project I just downloaded quickly a logo off the internet and it happens to be in uh, JPEG format so um, I will be replacing this with the JPEG one so it sort of defeats the object but uh, never mind I think you get the idea um, actually it's not a JPEG it's a PNG I tell a lie okay so the logo is a, a PNG that's gonna be referenced from this file so that's all good so this should should all work on it when it comes to life I've got uh, I just need to bring in the CSS because um, some of these are background images so I'm just gonna copy this over what I'll do is I'll um, see this is how easy it is really with, with this gulp uh, processor I'm just gonna get rid of these components here put in some custom uh, CSS files with a few more components you know basically we've we're halfway through building a project so we've got some extra stuff in here but it'll all um, it'll, it should all link up uh, okay I'm also going to bring in um, the JavaScript folders okay. so we've got some uh, other bits and bobs here uh, but crucially we've got the search toggle which is what I was after. So do you know what we're going to do is that's all ran. There we go. It's already updated on the front end to an extent. So I've got a logo from a well-known brand on the internet, um, and I've brought through the and it's already updated for me. So now the search bar has moved. Um, we haven't got any of the um, icons, which I'll check into why, but we'll, we'll have fun looking at that. And as you can see, we've changed the color of the footer for now. Um, by adding the extra S CSS in. Um, ah, we haven't got the icons because I haven't imported any of the uh, images. There we go. So, don't think the JavaScript has kicked in either. Have I got an error? Toggle's not working, which I'll look into, but you get the idea. We've got the wish list, we've got the cart with its default functionality all working. We've replaced this with a nice new big image, probably too big. Um, and that sort of the header done in a way I'll, I'm gonna debug this issue now so I need to also import at this stage 
So I've got the Magento theme, which is controlling my header and, and my amends to the header, which are all in here. We've got the account links, um, we've got the logo, we've got the nav toggle, which I'll show you in a bit. We've got the mo actual mobile nav, um, it, the, the inner nav, which is just a placeholder that I use, which we don't actually um, use in this theme. And then we've got the uh, search one here. So I also need to make sure for the search to start working that I override or, uh, uh, the module search in Magento. So the way you do that is similar to Magento theme. So you do also, you'd add a folder and it's module search, so it's Magento search. You. Okay, and then the contents of which uh, as you can see here, it's templates and the form mini. And this is the imported template form.mini from Magento Vendor, uh, the Magento Vendor folder, except it's got just got a few classes changed. Um, and if I just refresh this now, it'll hide by default and it'll show. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're nearly there in terms of this. I just need to clear up that icon on the right hand side. But I'll tell you what, we're going to do, we're just going to knock down the logo a little bit. So, so I've already got some styles here for the logo, it's display table, and I'm just going to do a max width, say 150 pixels, there we go, nice and little, again, and then we've got, um, that button isn't working yet, but we'll concentrate on the desktop for now, so we've got a nice tidy little uh, header, now, okay, that's all done within the theme, that's all done within the, um, within the header itself.